Got a new hat. Just kidding, it's my haircut. At least now I can safely ride a bike without a helmet because I already have one built in. Dude, I already know this is the worst idea I've ever had. That's my opinion! If you've read the title, you know what's going on. It's currently 5.45 p.m. I think that's the fastest I've ever read a clock on this channel, too. <laughs> Weird flex. Okay, so basically, I, I don't eat fast food. Well, okay, there's like different tiers of fast food. You know, there's like the sh fast food and then there's like In-N-Out, Chick-fil-A, Freddy's, Whataburger, that tier of fast food. And that tier of fast food is what I call like, I don't have a name for it, but it's different than like fast food. That bottom of the barrel, like you know you're eating like bad shit. I'm talking like the McDonald's, the Taco Bell, the Wendy's. I don't eat that kind of fast food because I have IBS. <laughs> <laughs> AKA irritable bowel syndrome. If you don't know what that is, what's the definition of irritable bowel syndrome? Hello? What's the definition of irritable bowel syndrome? Irritable bowel syndrome means a widespread condition involving recurrent abdominal pain and diarrhea or constipation, often associated with stress, depression, anxiety, or previous intestinal infection. Okay, didn't know we were going that far, but <laughs> irritable bowel syndrome basically means whenever I eat certain foods or mm, pretty much any food, anytime I eat, basically I have diarrhea. Okay, oh, I'm so sorry. This is gross. What was it? Why? Why did I even bring this up? Oh yeah, one of my biggest trigger foods is fast food. Ah, <laughs> uh, and I mean it's like bad, bad, bad. Like there's some foods that just like kind of hurt my tummy, but then fast food is like. To me. And it like doesn't matter what fast food it is, it's like really bad. I'm really putting off the inevitable. This video, I'm going to try American fast food brands in Korea. Because like in when I lived in Italy. When I lived in Italy, some of the fast food was like significantly better quality. I don't know, maybe it's like that here. Also, Korea just has like a weird twist on like foods oftentimes. I'm just gonna like Uber Eats some food to my house. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Popular near you. Okay, there's a McDonald's. Panda Express. Oh god. KFC, Loteria, Taco Bell. Okay, Taco Bell's for sure gonna be one. McDonald's is for sure gonna be one. And uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, let's order. In America, when I ate Taco Bell, my favorite thing to get was a crunch wrap. Oh, here we go. Crunchy wrap. <laughs> Wait, let's see if they have anything like really Korean or should I just get like a classic burrito? Okay, there's a burrito. Oh my god. One burrito is five dollars. Jesus Christ Bulgogi taco. That's pretty Korean. I think just for the sake of this I have to get a bulgogi taco. Bulgogi is like classic Korean meat <laughs> If you go like to any Korean restaurant bulgogi is probably like the featured player there. Okay I'm gonna put no no teas and I don't know if it comes with sour cream, but I'm just gonna put no sour cream just in case like listen I'm already trashing my stomach for this I'm oh I'm also lactose intolerant in case I need any other stomach problems okay let's add that to the card I really want to try the crunch wrap mostly just because I love crunch wraps but if I'm getting stuff from three different places I know I probably shouldn't do that oh damn it really looks good though <laughs> God. Now let's head to Mickey D's. A McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. All right. Bulgogi burger. Hmm. Shrimp beef burger. Dude, Korea loves throwing shrimp on stuff, and I'm not mad about it because I like shrimp. Hash brown burger. That looks so good. I love hash browns. Oh my god. Golden egg cheeseburger, grilled mushroom burger, Mega Mac, Jesus Christ. Okay, there's a child yelling outside. Shut the fuck up. Okay, Big Mac, add to cart. Then I'll just do the shrimp burger. Oh my God, that looks like it has so much mayonnaise on it. Whatever, I'm gonna try it. Should we order something else? I already got a lot. Plus I feel like Taco Bell and McDonald's are like the classics. You know, like the classic fast food. Like when you're like, name a fast food restaurant, they're gonna be like McDonald's. And you're like, okay, name a different one, they're gonna be like Taco Bell. 
<laughs> I'm just saying that because I'm so scared to order more food. I know things are gonna be bad in here. They're just not gonna work for me. I ordered four things, that's enough. Ah, uh, oh my God, I'm so scared. Just got a notification that McDonald's is preparing my order. That's the last thing I wanted to hear. Uh, I would have been fine if that notification was like, Hey, just to let you know, McDonald's actually wanted to cancel your order, and also you can never order food from here ever again. You know what? I need to put some nutrients in my body before... <laughs> oh, God. My body needs... <laughs> I need nutrients. Dude, my haircut literally looks like a helmet. Also, the only thing I did was take a shower and dry my hair, so can't really complain if I didn't even, like, really try. I'm just gonna make a fruit smoothie just so that I can have, like, some health inside my body before my food arrives and it just wrecks my life. <clears throat> what if my body's, like, fine and my IBS, like, suddenly is cured and I actually, like, find out I can eat fast food without a problem? That would be the worst outcome because if I found out I was able to eat fast food, I would probably do it. <laughs> Like, the reason I so actively avoid fast food is because I know it ruins my life. And that's, like, probably good. Oh, shoot. That was a lot of mango. Everyone in LA right now is juicing their celeries. First of all, even in non-juice form, disgusting. Like, gross. Celery is not delicious. There's probably six people in this world that love celery that are like, I'm creating some freaking celery right now. <laughs> Gross. That's delicious. <coughs> oh god. Mm, my body has no idea what's coming. <laughs> It's like, oh, what a lovely day. Levi's feeding us some fruit smoothie? Wow, he even put some peanut butter in there. We love protein. Little does my body know, I'm setting up for sabotage. <laughs> Your food from Taco Bell has been picked up and is on the way. <gasps> there he is, this little rascal. <laughs> One eternity later. Okay, I hear the motorbike. Oh, I hear footsteps on the stairs. Yeah, yeah, I'll come tell me that. <sighs> we got the Taco Bell. Oh my god. Okay, also, if you can't tell, I'm back recording on my phone. Let me wipe the camera. Oh, that actually helped a lot. <laughs> what? How does Trisha Paytas do it? I watched a video and she literally had like a table tray inside her car. That's amazing. She is such a shocking human to me. It doesn't smell great. Not that Taco Bell ever like smells good, you know? Okay, let's try the Bulgogi Taco. Oh, God. Actually, this doesn't look that bad. You better talk to before I do. I don't know. I don't know. It could be good. Let's figure it out. I got only vegetables. I'm going in for another bite. Well, the vegetables are tasty. This iceberg ass lettuce. Oh, we've reached the meat. <laughs> I'm going to take a big bite, so don't judge me for this, okay? This is delicious. <laughs> this is really good. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh my god, this is good. Mm. Mm. That is tasty. Okay, I'm gonna rate these on a few different scales. Appearance, flavor, and the likelihood of making me diarrhea. Appearance for this one, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's not a beautiful taco, I'll say it. The bulgogi looked suspiciously wet, and it also felt suspiciously wet. Anyway, flavor, I'm gonna give this an 8. I'm gonna say 8 out of 10. 8 and a half. <gasps> Oh god, I hear a motorbike. Is this my McDonald's? Oh no. Oh, those are heavy footsteps. Is he dragging up a body? My god. This bag is thick. This is a dense boy. We're back. Bulgogi Burger, final verdict. what I say? Appearance, 6 out of 10. Flavor, 8 out of 10. Likelihood of making me poop. I was gonna rate this low because the small amount of bulgogi that was in it and the bulgogi itself didn't taste that disgusting and like manufactured like Taco Bell beef, even though Taco Bell beef like kind of hits different. But it just like, as soon as you taste it, you know it's bad. Anyway, likelihood out of 10 is probably a 6. I just realized I haven't put Rick in a video in so long. He's gonna join us. He'll be right over here. Great. Let's try the crunch wrap. I'm actually really excited about this because like I told you, I love crunch wrap. Okay, this looks, oh, you know what? Unless it's really soggy, I'm pretty sure there's not a hard shell taco in here. Oh, ew, there is. It's just really soggy. Let's open this up. Okay, this honestly looks 
foul. <sighs> this part doesn't look that crazy, except this mysterious red sauce, which is not any kind of Taco Bell sauce I've ever seen. But that, that's what's gonna do me in. That's what's gonna ruin my days. Plural. Let's fold this bad boy back up. Oh my god, it's literally so good that I'm like frustrated right now. Maybe it wasn't that good. I'll find out. Let me just make sure that this crunch wrap is really gross because I'm pretty sure it is, but let me just make sure again. Oh, what's in these? Oh my god. Mmm. Mm, that is so freaking good. Crunch Wrap Supreme from Korea Taco Bell. Appearance, 7 out of 10. It looks fine. Like it's an iconic hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Geometry. Appearance, 6 out of 10, just because it's iconic. Or 7, maybe. I'll give it a 7, because Taco Bell really did that with the appearance of a crunch wrap. Flavor, dude, it's an 8. It's so good. It's so good. How many? It's, it's an 8.5. It's a 9. Okay, it's a 9. It's really good. It's really good. I want to take another bite really badly, but I just have a lot to get through in this thick ass McDonald's bag. So, likelihood to make me poop, however, that is a 9 out of 10. This boy is dangerous. All right, let's get to McDonald's. Oh God, things are really moving and grooving inside my intubins. Okay, here's the shrimp burger, which literally looks like a softball. Why is it so round? And then we got the Big Mac, what the? Monopoly? No, what is this? Nutrition facts? Hell no. Let's try the Big Mac first, cause it's like a classic. Whoa! This looks like those things that professional chefs use to like keep things really circular. Okay, honestly, pretty good. This looks just like the Big Macs in America. I'm kind of hopeful for this. Hopeful as in like, I hope it tastes just like an American Big Mac. Oh God, I forgot to get no cheese. <gasps> as though that's the only mistake I've been making today. Also, this is like a little bit smaller than I remember. I think the Big Mac sauce is different. Or maybe there's just like a lot less of it. I mean, it's still really tasty, but it doesn't have that like same, when you bite into an American Big Mac, that Big Mac lays you down, lotions you up, gives you a nice back massage, gives you a silk t-shirt to put on, makes you iced tea, and then sends you on your way. You know what I mean? This Big Mac just kind of like patted you on the back. It was like, good luck today, and then, watched you get onto the bus. I'm not mad about it, but just knowing that how horrible this is for my stomach, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this. I'm gonna give this appearance seven out of 10, cause like I said, it looks a lot like the real Big Mac and this little guy kind of kept it like low key looking beautiful and perfectly circled. Cause you know, when you open that Big Mac box in America, shit's like falling apart. It's like, you don't know what's going on. You gotta like scoop it out. Flavor, five out of 10. Like it tastes like a Big Mac, but also like a little bland version of it. Likelihood to make me poop. If I ate all of this, probably six out of 10. This didn't feel like really heavy and nasty. If that makes sense, somehow a Big Mac out of all the things on the menu didn't make me feel like that. Last thing that we got was this Supreme Shrimp Burger. This is not on the menu in America, but like I said, I really like shrimp. This has like this really sweet looking, probably honey honey-based sauce on top and bottom. Has lettuce, tomato, and then a fried shrimp patty underneath. This is gonna hurt my stomach so bad, I already know. I'm going in. What the fuck? Is this allowed? Ew, this is not good. Mm-mm, no. Uh no. Ugh. Ew. I don't know what. Ugh. Ew, 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 ew. I really like shrimp, but that is not doing it for me. Mm-mm. Ugh. Appearance, 4 out of 10. Looks like a bitch. Flavor, 2 out of 10. Tastes like even a bigger bitch. Likelihood to make me poop, 10 out of 10. This one, just ugh. Seafood from a fast food restaurant, that's one strike. The seafood is fried, that's the second strike. It has a weird, mysterious, sweet sauce. Three strikes, baby, you're out. That thing is going right through me. How did I accidentally eat half of this and I only took two bites and it was gross? Things are gurgling, oh no. Final review. This felt bad physically. Yeah, okay, the Taco Bell kind of snapped. Was it worth it? I don't know. Oh my God, there's gurgling happening in my tummy. Please click on an ad or <laughs> <laughs> something to help make this video financially worth this for me. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If this is your first video watching and you made it this far, please subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, whatever. You guys know how YouTube works. All right, bye.